Well, some people in Bemidji are working to bridge the gap between disability and mental health issues in the community. On this week's Community Spotlight, our Brenda Mack recaps the second annual Bemidji Extravaganza. You find what you love, and that's what you go for. For Lori, it's beating and crocheting. Not only did it keep me calm, but it gave me something to do, kind of a venue. Because, because when you have something to do, some, something to look forward to in your life, it makes it so much easier. Lori's diagnosed with mental illness, but that hasn't defined who she is, nor invalidate her aspirations. Nothing is impossible. I mean, if you're, if you're willing to work hard, you can, you can pretty much do anything. And within nine years, she turned her passion into a mini-venture. Her success goes to prove disability is not a setback. And that is also evident for Lori Bakken. It's about short stories about my background and my life. At 61 years old, not only did Lori publish her first book, but after living in 10 different group homes and a hospital, she's now living on her own. And it just goes to prove if you've got some help, extra help, you can do those things. Um, and I think you're the happiest you've ever been. For both Lori's, it's the support they've received that got them to where they are today. My husband, however, he's the one who built this table, made this, and made the tree for me because he believes in me. He believes that I can do it, and he's my rock, basically, the, 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 per, the best person in my whole life. But even more so, the community support is important. That's why organizers of Persevere Support Group brought back the second annual Bemidji Extravaganza. The biggest thing is really starting to teach our children that accept who you are as an individual. Um, there's no such thing as everybody's the same. Um, each of us has our own gifts and we just need to start seeing that and yeah. saying, you know, let's stop hating and start accepting, you know. We're louder if we're bigger together. For this week's Community Spotlight, Brenna Mack, Lincoln News. Advocates are also working to host a bigger event next year and establish one day in August as Disability and Mental Health Awareness Day. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.